Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. The Burke speech, that's what some are calling it. The speech that laid it all out, given by Archbishop Raymond Burke in Rome about 10 days ago. By the way, Archbishop Burke will soon become Cardinal Burke, or more precisely, Raymond Cardinal Burke. Praised be God. More on that at a later date. But for now, the speech. In another line, we've been highlighting these this week in the Vortex, in another line from his speech, Cardinal Burke, and that sounds really good. Cardinal Burke made a singularly interesting point. He said, and this is a direct quote, I often recall the words of a sage professor of canon law who taught me the church's discipline regarding clerics, my emphasis. More than once, he told the class, where there are problems of chastity, there are problems of obedience. Wow, what is the cardinal saying there? It's interesting that in his speech, he pointed out that the old sage professor was talking about clerics. Why did Cardinal Burke feel the need to emphasize this? That among clerics, a failure of chastity is always associated with a failure of obedience. Well, first of all, because it's true. The great revolt or disobedience of so many clerics these last 50 years or so originated with their rejection of the church's teaching regarding sexual morality. We are all too painfully aware of the horrors of bishops rejecting the church's teaching on sexual morality, some of them in their own personal lives. However one would portray the problems of chastity among clerics as either a rejection of the teaching, a refusal to proclaim it clearly, a cowardice in saying what needs to be said, the cardinal's point is this, downplaying chastity or rejecting it in any form foments disobedience. People can easily be led by lustful desires away from the truth and what the truth demands, and that is acceptance and obedience. Can any bishop in the church today really, really sit around and wonder why so many Catholics have left the faith and disobey the commandments of God when the bishops themselves have been so quiet and lazy about proclaiming and teaching the truths regarding chastity? It's about once every papal election, if even then, that a priest would even suggest to his congregation on Sunday that contraception is an intrinsic moral evil. When Pope Paul's encyclical condemning contraception, Humanae Vitae, was rejected or ignored by so many bishops, when they were disobedient to its content, a host of sexual problems infiltrated the ranks of the clerics. From homosexual priests and lesbian nuns to homosexual bishops and superiors of religious orders, their disobedience to the truth of divine law resulted in the catastrophe that has overwhelmed the church, a far-flung homosexual subculture within the ranks of the clergy, and a near rejection of proper marital love on the part of the laity. Until the sins of immoral sex in the church are purged, there will be no mass return to the faith, because the faith requires obedience. As Cardinal Burke made abundantly clear, where there are problems of chastity, there are problems of obedience. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.